What is up guys, Fallen Red Zero here, back playing Ark Survival Evolved on the Ragnarok server as you can see. So just over here hanging out with Mary Mosh Chops here, just kind of providing her some loving company. Let's power her up a little. There we go. Um, getting ready possibly for the big move, but first off, before we can move any of our base, because obviously in the last episode we got our new base set up, um, but first off, we need to get an RG because we need an RG to help us carry stuff so we're gonna fly over this direction to where we see a bunch of RGs and this is like perfect timing because it's now daylight so we're not gonna be in the dark anymore um, so we're gonna fly this way like I said I know there's a bunch of RGs over this way so we're gonna just have to kinda fly is that Pater? I assume it was yeah probably that one um, but I know there's a bunch of RGs here and then there's RGs in between my new base and uh, this base so in the colder area so there's like one right there so let's pull out our spyglass and let's take a look at this one a level 20 no good I'm trying to remember I think it was this area where I saw all the RGs before like I said we've got a bunch of RGs all around so I'm sure we'll be able to find one and with the luck we've been hiding with with high levels another 20 now watch we're not gonna be able to find any RGs I think it was over here maybe where I saw the RGs of course I'm not seeing any right now so maybe it wasn't I like that water but of course right on the other side of this snow and stuff is where my new base is any other RGs around here I know there's a T-Rex around here somewhere Quartz it's saying I'm hot. Oh, that's a kangaroo. I've never tamed one of those kangaroos. This is the cool area that I like. Well, not it's not cool because it doesn't look good, but I think it looks cool because of all the dead and decaying. It'd be awesome if that was like a volcano or something. Are those vultures? I've never seen vultures in this kind of area. Okay, here's some more. We got a 20, another 20 and another 20 okay all we're finding our 20s yep those look like vultures vultures galore i didn't think it was going to be this hard to find an rg not that it's been hard i've just looked at a couple of them so far but i thought it was going to be super easy to find one here's two waddling around let's look at them 60 and a 20. no bueno i want at least a 100 let's see RG 15 oh goodness look at all this stuff down there oh snap I'm dead goodbye cruel world I hit the wrong button okay so I got my bird back and now I'm getting my corpse back and my guy's just standing there it looks hilarious so let's not do that ever again let's not jump off our bird let's make sure we get our buttons on the correct controls at all times so let's go in here and level 20 so we're still searching for the RG worth taming so we have a couple more they're probably all the same ones I've already seen but we'll look at them just in case so we have the 15 and 100 that'd be pretty good uh, I don't know what all those things are flying around over here. Of course, there's going to be raptors everywhere. Those look like vultures. I don't know. But let's try and figure out where we can draw the RG2. Um, let's see if we can attack and get it to follow us. Here, now it's following us. Let's see if we can draw it up to this green space area over here. So it does look like we're going to have some vultures on us though, which kind of stinks, but... Oh yeah, this area looks pretty nice. Nice if we could clear up... There we go. The vultures. Let's just come land over here. We'll just have to risk, of course, there are freaking terror birds over there. 
Where are you, RG? Oh, shoot. There it is. Go ahead and tuck the pterodon. He's got levels on him, so hopefully he'll stay pretty good. You can just follow me. We'll do the circle move. And I'll just try and hit you as much as I can. Oh, of course I missed that one. God, I don't like this grass. Of course I missed. Oh, there it goes flying away now. Come on. Did I not hit it? Dang it. Where's the pterodon? We gotta fly after it. over this way now fly up here and land and we'll shoot it again come on did it go down it looks like it awesome get up here so now we gotta kill something maybe some stegos around here there's those things. Anything dangerous? There's a Bronto egg. Um, I don't see anything dangerous that'll kill it. We do have Brontos around though. We'll just kill another RG. Prime meat. Perfect for taming. Oh yeah, it's like, where'd it go? Where's the prime meat? Okay. Let's come over here. Put the prime meat and the meat on. You don't need all that stuff. That's for me. And now we just wait for it to tame. I did go ahead and make a saddle since I'd be flying. Actually, I don't know. I could have probably just done the saddle. Because I got to go back to my base and grab dinos and stuff to take it to the new base. So I guess I could have just left it. But I will now sit here and wait for the RG to tame. So we can have ourselves an RG. So this was a fun adventure of flying on the Pterodon trying to find an RG. And falling off the RG. Or the Pterodon. And having to get back to it. So I had to run all the way back to it. And I was able to get close enough without running into any dinos or anything. And I was able to whistle to it to come down. And then I hopped on it where you saw I was on it. And then went to get my body and everything. So it worked out good. I was trying to figure out how I had to do I was starting to take the trike and everything. But I decided to leave it. So it was all worked out. And we got us an RG now. Hopefully that will tame up. Oh there it goes. One bite and it's almost already all the way tamed. So that's perfect. And it will have 49 levels. So that's awesome, awesome. So I will see you when the RG tame ups. Okay, so the RG got all tamed up. There it is. Is it a male or female? It is a male. Perfect. So it's a beautiful, handsome male. So we got the RG saddle there. Put the RG saddle on. And I thought there was something else we were going to do. But I don't remember. But that's awesome. So we got an RG now. So let's go ahead and get the RG. We I put my Santa Claus, Claus hat on while I was bored. Let's go ahead and whistle the... The pterodon. Oh yeah, I was going to take it off follow. That's what I was going to do. Is that egg still there? I'm going to just steal this. Ooh, there's a water well thing like we see um, in the desert area in Scorched Earth. It is a Diplodocus. Ah, oh, those things don't matter. Taking your egg, Diplo. Are you going to chase after me? 
You can't catch up to me. Okay. So I'm going to fly back to my base now. And then we are going to pick up some stuff. And we are going to fly back to our new base to drop stuff off. So we're going to pick up stuff off at our old base. And drop it off at our new base. So let's just kind of get some levels on this guy while we're flying on the way there and stuff. So I will see you when I'm heading back to my new base. Okay, so I got the RG all loaded up. So as you can see, oh, we may be in trouble. This may be a long trip because its weight's pretty full. Um, we'll just have to see how things go. Because um, I pumped a lot of its weight. We're going to take Mist. Dodo or Dr. Dodo Pants here because I prefer him more so we'll go ahead and take him on the RG and then we're going to grab Mary as well and take the uh, Tranodon with us as well and so we're all gonna just going to fly back to our new base and then I'll eventually come back probably with the RG May or with the uh, Tranodon just because it flies so fast and we're going to fly back to our new, or back to this base. We'll hop on the trike and then walk it to our new base. Somehow I got to figure out the path to get it there without, you know, falling off. And because I got to get it up on the cliffs and all that sort of stuff. So it'll be interesting to see. We may have to take this transit on, on a shorter follow distance, but um, we'll just have to see. But this is probably going to be a long trip because the RG doesn't fly very fast. It's weighted down. Then we're going to have to keep making stops and everything. And so it just doesn't seem like it's going to be a fun time. But I'm going to get there when I get to the base. I will bring it right back. And we made it back to the house finally. So that was a long trip like I said. And you need to stop flying around. You're so annoying kept knocking us all over the place and everything so hopefully there's nothing dangerous there was a carna when I came by here earlier today to drop off the jerboa that I tamed um, earlier well, I guess it was before the last episode it's so cold outside um, so let's get this stuff I like I said I'm leaving the dino door on for now so I can get um, dinos inside until I can get a wall or something put up Go ahead and just um, switch them in. Let's leave them open. Give me these stupid mosh tops. Go the other way. Open. There we go. Okay, so the mosh tops coming in here now. And you just stay right there. Now we'll get the train it on, which kind of flew over here. Stupid annoying thing, which like I said, I will need that later on. I guess we'll go ahead and put the RG inside. Oh, we definitely need it inside for now. So we gotta unload all the stuff off of it. And then the train it on, we'll put... Oh, some more stegos. We'll put it back here on our little landing pad deck area. So now go ahead and shut that just so no nothing dangerous gets in and let's see what we can get off of the RG. Let's see what should we pump on it first. Um, it has pretty decent weight. I mean it's able to carry all of this stuff. I've been doing uh, probably do health get up to like 10,000 health or something. Um, let's just was that the RG making that noise? That was weird make sure we're close enough um actually I may not do that right now let's go and see what it's got on it that I can take off I should have brought the smithy because I think it was a um, s plus smithy so I could have picked it up like we got another storage box we got the preserving pan a fire thing a ramp which we need um, storage box pillars what other kind of building stuff do we got door frame so all right normal stuff that we will not be using so let's come out here real quick um, let's put the ramp down on one side because once again once I get the walls built up and everything we will only be having dinos on one side or a smaller door so let's take a fighting something although it's nothing dangerous 
So we'll go ahead and shut the door. And then what else did I have? Oh yeah, storage box, preserving bin. And then we'll put the campfire out here in a second. Let's go ahead and attach this one onto there. Um, I don't know where I want to put the preserving bin. Maybe over on this side. Maybe. Just maybe. Oh gosh, you can't tell where it's at. Let's try there. And we did it. It's perfectly, not perfect, but it's inside. Then we'll put the campfire down next to it. And we can put all our stuff back in. Oh yeah, it's all on the RG though. Don't eat the food, RG. Um, we don't need charcoal. I forget. Oh yeah, we got prime meat, jerky, the oil. I think we only put one oil on. Let's stick that back there so I don't waste it. We got some spark powder. Just gonna take that much. We had another set of jerky, I th thought. I don't see it down there. Hey, where did our jerky go? I probably just completely missed it. Oh, there it is. Cooked prime meat, that. Then, of course, we'll take our cooked meat. And that should all go back in here. There we go. So that's all back to normal, being cooked up. Then we'll need to get some forges put up. I don't know if I'll put them... See, I like to have a lot of stuff outside because it's heck of a lot easier to like fly out on the RG or something, pick up metal, and fly back. So we may off to the side or something, add on to the deck here just so we can have a place to land and put forges and stuff. Um, what else can we unload off of you? Of course, all our armor. Oh, we definitely need to make a bed. So let's take some hide. What do we need to make a bed? Go beds, simple bed. We need fiber, thatch, and wood. Fiber, thatch, wood. Fiber, thatch, wood. Fiber. We should have thatch on here. Yeah, thatch. And a stack of wood. And we've got a bed, so we can now. Because when we died, I was trying to figure out where we would have could have spawned at which i guess spawning over here would have done us nothing because all we had is the gerbo so i would have been you know out the pasture <laughs> stuck over here let's go and just stick the bed over in this area like that and then what i don't know if i mentioned it but of course once we get um the walls put up and everything or the defense I'll then put some more windows and stuff in here just so we have more light and everything coming in. Um, let's see if we can. What can we do next? We have... That's pretty much it that I know of. We just got a lot of stuff we gotta unload and finish crafting up. We need to work on defense, of course putting up a dino door somewhere probably right over in here somewhere we'll just have to figure it out and I think I'm gonna do I don't know I don't know exactly what my ideas are gonna be what kind of area I want to block off to protect from dinos and all that I don't exactly know but I think for now though that's probably going to be it for today. I don't know how long this is. Could have been really short. Could be really long. I don't know exactly. But I hope you enjoyed this episode. Oh, oh, oh. I'm being Santa Claus again. But I thank you for watching. Next time we'll have more of the stuff. Because I'll probably get the trike moved over. Whenever I can. It'll probably be long. Because it's all the way over there. So i got to figure out how to get it walked across. And then somehow around water and this big canyon and stuff back in oh, look the dodos look now sign but i hope you enjoyed thank you for watching don't forget to leave any comments you have down below and please subscribe to see more arc videos and we'll see you next time